before uh, going to the uh, current cholera outbreak uh, uh, epidemiological presentation, I wanted to say something about Ethiopia. Having that much population, as I mentioned, with a certain uh, regions. Therefore, it is wide. Uh, therefore, uh, Ethiopia, in fact, uh, with representing certain regions and 120 million population. Uh, currently, Ethiopia has an ongoing cholera outbreak, having with 86 affected Waradas, what I mean, districts in four regions, having with a high risk population approximately 10 million population, you see. And I will go through some uh, information regarding to this uh, uh, update. OK, thank you. Thank you. Maybe this is very condensed, but I wanted to update some very relevant information for you. In fact, the cholera outbreak already started in August 27, 2022. And so far, we reported we received this, this much uh, uh, case, cholera case, this confirmed case, in fact, and the pneumological linked cases, uh, approximately uh, 12,000 cases with this much high severe dehydration. Uh, approximately 6,000 uh, cholera cases developed, developed uh, the severe dehydration due to maybe it, it, it is from different factors. And I will, uh, I will mention, and for your information, Ethiopia is already revitalized the Public Health Emergency Operations Center by considering COVID and drought-related emergencies. Therefore, drought contributes for this high amount of cases. Those are developed severe dehydration, accounted more than 50%. But our expectation is already 20% of cholera patients may have uh, a, a severe dehydration status. But due to the malnutrition issue, due to the drought issue, our cholera patients developed uh, with this 50% uh, of the cholera with severe dehydration. This is the news from uh, Ethiopia for you. Therefore, it needs huge investment for case management, you see? Uh, and uh, the cumulative attack rate, you see, it is more than uh, 136 per 100,000 population, at risk population, and the cumulative death is 165. Our CFR is uh, more than the standard 1.4. Yeah, but uh, 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 as of the condition in Ethiopia, it is very, very good uh, <laughs> report, but it is beyond the standard. And we have to do more in order to decrease. It, we have to make less than 1% as expected as the standard. And also, uh, weekly, the average we, we received, we reported more than 100 cases. Maybe total affected orders are 86, and we controlled almost uh, 12 waradas in Oromia region and Somali region. But uh, in the last uh, week, week to few weeks back, we conducted a civic campaign. We got a support from ICG. And we addressed 17 waradas. And formerly for waradas, totally, we addressed, we vaccinated 21 affected waradas. Almost in this warada, we, it is ongoing to be controlled. And uh, we received zero case from those campaign addressed waradas. And that much uh, we report. The epic curve already started from August 27 up to the, um, uh, June, June, uh, 20, June 20. And in the last three months back, we reported huge amount of cases. But currently, at the end of May, at the end of May and the start of June, we cascaded OCV campaign that much to me approximately two million dollars. And we have seen an immediate reduction of cases and zero case report from those addressed campaigns. But newly affected regions, newly affected waradas or districts, when I say warada, please understand the district. Uh, those newly affected districts contributed much for this high uh, case report in the last uh, maybe uh, three, four uh, months back. 
maybe uh, I want to speak on the map. The southern part of Ethiopia is highly affected. And the escalation is already uh, nearby to nearby, nearby, near, nearby orders and neighboring orders are already uh, affected. But currently, we are fearing, fearing that the worst scenario that can affect maybe the, wide, uh, uh, the wider part of Ethiopia. And we are fearing to have an escalating outbreak to northern part of Ethiopia, which is affected by, as you know, the war. All parts of the uh, wash infrastructure in Tigray, and almost 50% of the wash infrastructure in Amara and Afar region, it is well distracted. It is well distracted. And we are doing to prevent the escalating and the occurrence of this epidemic in the, that part of Ethiopia. Because there is no any infrastructure. There is a huge number of IDPs. Those are uh, uh, induced by war. Those are induced by drought. Those are induced by the uh, other related factors in the search of food, maybe. Therefore, uh, it is already the, that the upper red color already is uh, 78 kilometers far away, far away from the center of Ethiopia at this hour. Therefore, it is coming to the center. And it will go to the, uh, the, the cities of the uh, uh, regions. Therefore, uh, maybe uh, we are worrying on this issue, but our government has made an agenda to control and how to proceed to control the cholera outbreak in Ethiopia. Currently, the multi-sectoral, there are several meetings we are conducted in the engagement of the, uh, the Prime Minister Office, as well as the Minister of Health, Her Excellency Dr. Lea, and uh, a number of state ministers in different ministries. And uh, we held a very good uh, cholera outbreak performance Advocacy meeting, please, please. Okay, th therefore, maybe I wanted to speak on some risk factors that can support a common source and having have a distracted infrastructure on, about wash. Maybe the first one is a travel history. Among cases, only 6% of cases have a travel history. The rest has not any, any travel history. Therefore, most of patients go with other source of infection. Maybe. Contact history, almost 33% of patients have a contact history. And the rest one is uh, uh, a toilet, almost the 60, 65% of cholera patients had not personal or household level toilet. But one thing I wanted to inform you is that the unsafe water or clean water or the absence of basic water contributes much due to the distracted infrastructure. Maybe drought affects much in Ethiopia. That is why we revitalized at a national and regional level of public health emergency operation center that is conducting majorly the so-called COVID and drought-related emergency, public health emergency operation center. Maybe OCV. OCV has a very good impact among all patients, more than 95% of patients are not vaccinated with OCV. And that is a regional distribution of cases. And go ahead to the next slide, please. Sorry for that. I took uh, some minutes on one slide. Uh, maybe very important, the uh, national strategies for cholera control and uh, prevention in terms of preparedness, we did NCP. We finalized in 2021 and submitted for GTFC and we thank us the GTFC approved in World Health Assembly 75. It's a good news. And uh, following that, the Ethiopian higher officials already endorsed with December 26 in 2022. And we are waiting for to have uh, um, uh, uh, financial as well as logistics and supply mobilization from the respective partners and the respective governments. 
and also cholera guideline updated as well as yearly based end six months uh, reviewing uh, APRP nationwide APRP is uh, a functional one and we are doing on this uh, to strengthen to mobilize resources based on the APRP what we have and also maybe uh, more than or approximately uh, uh, 8,000 of RDTs were distributed from different partners. Specifically, most RDTs are already from WHO, maybe comprehensive cholera training, uh, 523, it is uh, a typing error, but more than 3,000 of uh, healthcare workers are trained in face-to-face, -face Zoom, as well as uh, with uh, electronic uh, app which is already uh, created by GTFCC. GTFCC cholera app is very important in order to capacitate. Even my email signature is already uh, on advertising the GTFCC app in order to mobilize and communicate more to use this uh, app because it's very important and updated information can uh, get. Therefore, I wanted to suggest other countries representative to facilitate such app for healthcare workers at lower level. Maybe the uh, uh, detection of uh, a detection of outbreak is accounted for uh, seventy nine percent, but we have two more with the plan of one hundred percent outbreak response reactive OCV campaign. We did in different. Uh, different uh, perspectives or approaches for primitive and reactive uh, and uh, uh, sometimes in preventive especially in Tigray region uh, and we vaccinated more than 10 million population in different uh, uh, regions in Ethiopia. Uh, maybe uh, 83 CTCs are established but this CTC has to be considered with a limited resource to have to be in a standardized way. Maybe RP, all health facilities, all health posts, health posts in Ethiopia is the lower health facility, which is already established for by considering the fundamental philosophy of the equity and equality of our community to have healthy. Therefore, uh, in terms of the uh, health post, we can consider health extension program as well as the health development army, which is the network of one to five and one to 30 from our scientific community at lower level, at ground level, with the village and maybe Kaveli. Kaveli is the smallest administration in Ethiopia. Maybe the short term wash intervention, common latrine, uh, 50 water scheme, and 106 water schemes disinfected with a huge investment of six MWAT kits. It is already supported from WASH cluster UNICEF. Uh, by the way, it's uh, more than uh, 105, two, uh, sorry, two, 250,000 population are utilized this MWAT kit. Multi-sectoral collaboration, National Task Force Active meeting quarterly, as well as cholera outbreak high-level advocacy meeting was conducted at national as, at, as well as at regional level, and it was fruitful with engagement of regional presidents, as well as the regional health bureau and public health institute directors, and even WASH, water uh, bureau, uh, were engaged. National TWG meeting, this is a very good national TWG with these uh, partners and uh, governmental sectors engagement and we want to acknowledge and uh, you uh, i will i will uh, share the link for uh, CSCP for GTFCC for your regular uh, engagement if you have a time. Even uh, it is weekly but you can uh, join us in maybe in a month or somewhere. Next slide. Uh, key challenges what you have, NCP endorsement nationally, it uh, is the absence of, top, uh, uh, in the presence of top leadership commitment is a very good uh, uh, factors that, that leads to for our success. What is what already implementation plan done? It is already, already uh, done and the strong national corridor task force and TWG is very important. Guideline updated uh, with roadmap endorsement and good coordination established at each water spot or does. And also nationwide, all facil health facilities, health centers, as well as hospitals have their own rapid response team, which is functional. And sometimes it's supported by the rapid response logistics and supply. 
And also outbreak detection, this is uh, very uh, low uh, coverage as of the national standards, but we, we have to do more in order to stand 100% detection of uh, within 24 hours. Maybe CFR, only 60% only 60, uh, 60 of Waradas have this much uh, CFR, less than 1%. But the rest, 20, 40% have higher, higher CFR, and we have to strengthen our ORP, our, our CTC, and our detection even, even. And also, this much dose were, were vaccinated in two rounds. The first round was four orders, and the second round was 17 orders. Totally, we addressed uh, 21 orders, and we got a good reduction and controlling status of the outbreak in those affected orders. Maybe next slide. Challenges, what we have during NCP development, we had a challenge five-year data, but we got a solution by calling WHO and uh, WORDA as well as zonal as well as regional health bureaus in order to solve the challenge and it is solved one. NCP operational plan is not done for Tigray due to the war issue during the uh, operational, operational development, but it is solved and we are already scheduled to, 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 to do the operational plan and we will send for uh, GTFC as soon as possible within a month. Because recently the war issue is solved and uh, even our national partnership with RRT are there in order to prevent the occurrence of cholera outbreak in Tigray region, Afar region, as well as uh, uh, Amara region. Maybe preventive OCV campaign not implemented for uh, is this much approved dose. And uh, we know that and we accepted that the global shortage and uh, the challenges for GTFCC. But uh, we will work together to have this much dose in order to conduct a preventive campaign. And also our CFR reduction is uh, 30 percent, but we are doing only 26 percent. And we have to strengthen our system in order to uh, reduce with uh, a national roadmap and a global roadmap, which is already in place previously. Next slide. Maybe priorities, very, very prioritized activities. What we have, uh, cholera outbreak, beyond the response, we have to control. And we are doing on this, and we call different partners. Uh, recently, there is a reduction, but we, uh, we need to, to, uh, to have more dose which is requested for ICG, for reactive campaign, and it will have a good impact in order to uh, uh, prevent a further escalation of the outbreak, especially to northern part of Ethiopia. If northern part of Ethiopia have this outbreak, we may lose in thousands of our community. What I told you, the drought, nutrition, and other distracted infrastructures. And I'm sorry to say this, but we need we need to have the, the requested dose as much as possible, but we will consider the global shortage. Uh, I don't know. Uh, all African countries, especially in the Asian countries, are inquiring of CV dose, and we will consider and we will share this uh, uh, global uh, challenge. Maybe prevent the OCV campaign, uh, preparing year, year two operational plan. We didn't implement a year one uh, operational plan, but uh, in, uh, with the suggestion and the advice of the GTFCC, we will uh, uh, prepare op year two operational plan, NCP operational budget, of mobilization, implementation of developmental activities, and the region of photospot orders. Those are the, almost the four uh, bullets are related with, were related with the NCP implementation, and we call again to, to implement the, our NCP uh, uh, plan. Annual review meeting on color outbreak response performance. It is very good that needs engagement of multi-sectoral higher officials and uh, national and global representatives. And it is under planning. Maybe our um, minister can communicate. Uh, and it is uh, under uh, attention with uh, a ministry level. Strengthen cross-border meeting. IGAD, it is started. But we have to strengthen. And we have to further a cross-border collaboration beyond the IGAD countries. All uh, global countries, those are affected with cholera, should have a cross-border uh, platform in order to communicate and um, uh, decrease and control and even 
achieve our uh, global uh, uh, plans. Capacitating regional, sub-regional lab for by Brookler confirmatory test. This is all about the uh, what I told, what I, uh, <laughs> I present. But sorry for taking uh, some minutes. Uh, it is not uh, already allowed to me. But I wanted to uh, uh, update and convince you and inform, inform you on the cholera situation in Ethiopia. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>